Good morning and welcome to a home vlog. Jen's feeding the baby upstairs. I'm making some coffee. By the way, I've been on decaf for uh, quite a while since D23. Um, and I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm doing an easy breakfast today. Usually I have a, a bowl of oatmeal, but today I'm gonna go for some cereal. Why not? Sounds like a good time. These organic cereals were on sale at Publix. Buy one, get one free. So I got the uh, Honey Nut O's, which is like Cheerios. And then I got Cinnamon Crunch, which is like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I've already had the Cinnamon Crunch, it's good, but I think I need to mix them together today because I'm almost out of the Cinnamon Crunch. Well, we did it. We made it through with just what was left in the box. Just enough for one bowl full. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Guess who's done with their breakfast? It's Jackson. Are you done with your breakfast? Yeah, now you're happy to be downstairs looking out all the windows. That's your favorite thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Little baby Jackson. Good morning to you too, sir. Welcome to the... Oh, bye. You know what I never realized? What? I mean, it just didn't put two and two together. Is that a lot of people, were in there, they're like, hey, what noise does a baby make? Everybody goes, goo goo gaga. They do that. They make those noises. He goes, Hugh. Yeah, I don't think he's ever said gaga. No, maybe not. But he does say a goo. A goo. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're uh, making um, pulled pork right now. Some barbecue pulled pork. Yeah. I think it's going to be delicious. Never done it before. We're doing it in the slow cooker. You guys know that we have been on like a slow cooker kick for a little bit because it's easier. Yeah. And I am excited for this. Me too. Me, three. You found the recipe somewhere online. I'm going to put it in the description down below. We're going to try this later on, so we'll let you know if it's delicious or not. Yeah. So maybe stay tuned before you make it. Ooh. But let's make it. I hope it's not bad. Well, I think it'll be good, but it has a lot of like, it's like barbecue, Worcestershire, brown sugar, other stuff. I can't remember everything. There's some apple cider vinegar in there. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Really random things. This is what he loves doing. He loves looking out the window. Uh, yeah, there it was. He did the goo. Do you doing a goo? A goo. You're like putting your little shoulder straps on too. I like that. Goo. A goo. Nothing quite like the smell of coffee and onions in the morning. Oh no. Mmm. It is pretty smelly. Yeah. I think we need a bigger crock pot. I think so too. Do you think this is going to be too much meat in there? I don't think so. That'll fit. Okay. Well, let's put our vegetable oil in. Yeah. Just a teaspoon of vegetable oil. Mmm. Oh no, oh, Jackson just part. had a fart. <laughs> that's enough? No, nah, a little bit more. All right, so we put a little bit of vegetable oil in there and we put some onions in there and now we're gonna put this pork shoulder in there. Do I just put the whole thing just in there like this? Yeah. Ew. <gasps> yeah. He said that, he goes, ew. It's perfect. It Shove it on down in there. No, I don't think so. No? Yeah, it should be okay. Yeah, we definitely need a bigger crock pot though, for sure. But I, cause I think all the rest of the stuff, there's not very many other things that go in it, right? Uh, just the sauces, so I feel like it'll, it shouldn't, yeah, yeah it'll, it'll be okay. Should be okay. Are you putting some barbecue sauce in there? Putting some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce in what, there. What's you guys' favorite barbecue sauce? Mm, we just had one from Four Rivers, which is a barbecue restaurant around here. They sell it at the store now, and it was really good. It was like a... Sweet and spicy. Buddy. Uh-oh. Are you okay, buddy? Oh, werewolves of London. Yeah, you like it when I sing songs to you about werewolves. Yeah. You got half a cup of apple cider vinegar going in. The whole reason we have apple cider vinegar is because you use it on your, your skin, don't you? Well, I use it in a face mask. Oh. Yeah, you have to use the unfiltered kind. We call it a barbecue face mask. Oh, no. Mmm. What's next? Half a cup of water. It calls for half a cup of chicken broth, but we don't. we didn't get any chicken broth, so we're just going to use water. We don't know her. That's like the Earth's chicken broth is water. That makes no sense. <laughs> Quarter cup of brown sugar. Calls for a light brown. Do we have light brown? Yeah. All right, we did it. Here's the question. I don't know how to not pack brown sugar. You know how sometimes recipes are like unpacked brown sugar? Oh yeah. How do you do that? It just packs itself into the cup. I don't know. I just I just do what I want. Yeah, <laughs> that is a lot of sugar. It'll be good. Uh, we got a tablespoon of prepared yellow mustard. What is prepared yellow mustard? I don't know, I just have this. It looks prepared to me. Okay. It's like ready to go out to the store. It's it's ready to go on an adventure. It's wearing its little jacket and, and hat and scarf. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So then what? Then we need a tablespoon of Worcestershire. Okay. Was I Worcestershire. Oh, yeah. 
I think this will be good. Mm. A little extra. Can't get enough of that sweet, sweet Worcestershire. <laughs> you know what's in Worcestershire? What? Sardines. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wow. A tablespoon of chili powder. That's a lot of chili powder. Okay, let's see. It's gonna be spicy. And then the onion we already put in. Okay. Two large cloves of garlic crushed. Tim had to step in and do the crushing. I crushed this garlic with my bare hands. And it calls for two, but I think we're gonna put in three because we're gonna make it super garlicky and delicious. All right, here's the final look at the pork shoulder that we're gonna turn into pulled pork sandwiches. So I mixed all of the ingredients that were kind of like piled up on top, I mixed them together, put in a little bit more barbecue sauce, put it on high heat. It's gonna cook for five yeah, hours, I think. It said five hours. Yeah, and then we're gonna eat it. We told you, you're not allowed to have a bad day. It has to be good, right? Yeah, who's having a good day? Who's having a good day? Bandit. Oh no, he's asleep. Yeah. Oh, Jen. Yeah? What are you doing over here? Oh, I'm making my breakfast. Oh, making some breakfast. All right, here's my breakfast. I got some oatmeal with vanilla almond milk, blackberries and blueberries, and an English muffin and some coffee. Delish. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a little bit waterier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay. Hmm, maybe we shouldn't have added the water to it. Jen always likes to try to put her arm behind me <laughs> and then I don't have anywhere to put my arm so we we're gonna film like this. <laughs> Is that, what, is that what you wanted? No. Oh, look at how much better this is. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> so Jackson's asleep. Yeah. Here he is. Sleeping. sleeping like a baby. Yeah, he is. He's very peaceful. And uh, so I wanted to tell you guys yesterday, we, okay, we have our Christmas tree up still. We kind of explained that in the a previous home vlog. Yeah. Where we wanted to take our, we never took our Christmas picture. Right. And we bought all these really cute Christmas clothes for us and for Jackson, like matching outfits. And so I took a picture before we like, gave birth. Like right before we left for the hospital. Literally like 10 minutes before we left for the hospital. So it was like the most pregnant that I will would have been in my pregnancy. Right. And so I wanted to document like how big my belly was and just, you know, the, the whole thing. Yeah. And then my, my thought process, my plan was that as soon as we got home, I was going to take a picture with like us in our matching outfits with Jackson as like a little itty bitty newborn. Right. And that did not happen. Not at all. There was, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I was like, oh yeah, we'll totally just be able to have a photo shoot as soon as we get home. Um, so it literally has taken us up until now, up until February of 2020 yeah. to take this, take these pictures. So we tried to do it yesterday and it didn't really work out. No. <laughs> I'm going to insert the clip that we took because we put on his, his little clothes and, and then awesome jeans. He was just upset. So um, I'm going to insert that clip now. So Christmas is starting now. <laughs> Before Jackson was born, Jen took a photo in front of the Christmas tree. And this is the whole reason we haven't taken down the Christmas tree yet is oh, yeah, so look, we can take a it's, photo. It's still there. There it is, you guys. We showed you last time. We wanted to take a recreation photo after Jackson was born, but we didn't have time to take one. But now we're going to try to take it today. So he doesn't have the same outfit that Jen wore, but he does have the same. We have a sweater that matches, but we thought that his pants were going to fit. But look at how big they are. Look at his little feet. Is that <laughs> funny? Is that so funny? Yeah, it's funny. And also like he's it's like way high too. Oh, no. These pants are way too big for him. Your pants are so, where are your feet? What happened to your feet? There they are. Where are they? I found them. Where are they? Oh, there they are. These pants are so big. They're the best. They're three to six month pants. They should fit you. Everything that he wears right now is three to six months, but apparently these pants are... Too big. Too big. <laughs> <laughs> they look so funny. <laughs> Whoa, those are big pants. Look at... Those are some big pants, little babe. I have big pants. <laughs> we have big pants. <laughs> he's wearing his Jinkos. Yeah. All right. He's in his little blue sweatpants now because those jeans were too big. I like how his shirt is like sweater. looks like he's like this. He's jacked. <laughs> yeah. You're so ripped. Look at those abs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, do you love it? Hey, welcome back. 
We also took a couple of photos, and you guys can see how Jackson was like, I don't want to be doing this right now. He was, yeah, he was just tired and upset. So um, this is some photos of him in his little pants. Yeah. And uh, in his little cry face. Oh. He was not loving it. Not at all. Yeah, so now today we're going to try to do it again uh, after his nap, so he's like in a happier state. Yeah. He's still sleeping, so we're not going to do it yet. But I just wanted to let you guys know that we're going to try again today. We are going to try it again today. But one thing that I wanted to ask you. and Wait, uh, but go. then well, I wanted to tell him, then we're going to take down our Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. That'll happen. Yeah. So that's the reason why our Christmas tree is still up. <laughs> no, we're doing it. I had something in my eyeball. <laughs> we are taking down the Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, but a couple of people were asking, how has your recovery been going? Oh, yeah. So I saw some comments that were wondering, like, how I was feeling after giving birth. It's been two full months. I had my two-month postpartum uh, doctor's appointment. And then also I got some Instagram DMs about people who had a similar issue in their delivery where they had some, like, internal tearing and they were having a hard time with recovery and they were just curious, like, how my recovery was going with that. Oh, really? Yeah. And it made me feel bad because... I actually recovered pretty quick. Yeah. I recovered, I, like my recovery was okay. And so I hope that um, everybody else that's dealing with that is doing better now. Cause I think those comments they left maybe a little while back. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so I was kind of like, I'm sad. I'm sorry that that wasn't like, that you didn't have the same recovery process that I did. Right. But as far as everything else, like, I, I think I recovered like pretty quickly. Yeah, you have gotten the clear to go on roller coasters and everything. Mm -hmm. um, there still is like a little bit of tender areas. Yeah, and I think that that's probably going to feel better within the next couple of weeks, hopefully. But for the most part, I'm like pretty much back to normal. Yeah. And so I, I don't know. I, I think that just using the tux pads and the... Um, the witch spray, hazel. the Dermaplast spray. Yeah. Oh yeah, the witch hazel pads that we made in a previous video, which I'll link the, the I'll link that video down below if you guys want to see the what what were they called? Pad sickles. They really did work. Like they did help. I only had to use them really for the first week of like being after um, giving birth, mm -hmm. um, and then after that I didn't really need them anymore. So I would say if you're gonna make them, maybe make like eight of them or so, maybe ten. Yeah. Just to have like a few extra, but uh, they they really did work. They did help a lot. Yeah, but you can't leave them in all the time because they're just wet. Well, they're frozen. Yeah. So that was the other thing is that I didn't actually tell you guys don't freeze them, yeah. or if you do freeze them, thaw them out because you can't wear them frozen. No, you just put them in the refrigerator. Well, I feel like them being like actual ice did help. Mm -hmm. So maybe freeze them and then thaw them out and then use them. Or freeze them laying flat. Yeah, if you can. If, if possible. Yeah, because that was one thing is that we couldn't open them back up because they were frozen together. Right. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for asking how I was doing, though. Everything's good. Excellent. Yeah, I'm pretty much like all the way back to normal. And I think I fully healed or I felt back to normal at least after about four weeks. Oh, okay. That's yeah. not too bad. Yeah, I was still like tender and I was still kind of like feeling a little bit of pain. But for the most part, I was like able to do everything that I could do before at like four weeks. Nice. And definitely by six weeks, I was like good to go. Oh, pretty good. So, yeah. Sometimes when we're changing Jackson, he looks at himself in the mirror and he's like, look at that. Look at that handsome boy in the mirror. Well, I don't think that he knows that it's him yet. I think he can see that there's another baby in the mirror. But I don't think he knows that it's like his reflection. What if he does? So we came upstairs to feed Jackson because he woke up, but we wanted to tell you guys some exciting news. We are working on adding a forum to the website. Yeah. So if you guys don't know, we have a website, timtracker.com. Mm -hmm. It has all of our new videos. And then there's a couple of people that post articles on there for us. Mm -hmm. Like either once or twice a week, there's definitely going to be a new article. And they're very interesting articles. There's one about how to get a boarding pass for Rise of Resistance. One about three new things coming to Epcot. But yeah, we're going to have a forum. So you guys will be able to make your own accounts. And you guys will be able to comment on different things on there. Well, we just wanted to give you guys a place to talk about, like, I don't know, like, basically kind of the stuff that you talk about on our Facebook, like your vacations or questions you may have or just like m building friendships with each other. That's something that I actually really like about our community is that a lot of you guys are friends with each other, yeah, which I think is really cool. Um, and so it's just a way for you guys to kind of talk to each other, to learn tips and tricks from each other, yeah. to ask questions. Yeah. And we'll definitely be trying to post on the site as well. Yeah. So I think it'll be really neat just to see kind of like what you guys 
what topics you guys come up with? Yeah. So the forum is not there yet, no. but there is an email option like to sign up for an email mailing list. Mm -hmm. That'll get you the new articles that get posted every Friday. An email goes out. And then when the forum starts up, we'll send out an email saying like, hey, the forum's here. Sign up and everything. So yeah. make sure you guys sign up for that. Yeah. Lots of fun. And you can see our shirts on there. It's a good website. I like it. <laughs> I think it looks really nice. Yeah. I like yeah. the website. <laughs> has everything there all of our new videos all of our new instagram posts all of mm -hmm. our new everything which we're trying to use instagram a little bit more because that is something that i just feel like we're not on twitter anymore but i feel like instagram we we need to post more yeah i definitely want to show pictures like i said we were trying to take that photo of all of us in our christmas outfits <laughs> that was for instagram so if you see a christmas photo in february don't be alarmed yeah it's just because we're bad at instagram so i just realized that we filmed that entire last clip with the noise machine going and we do not hear it anymore i was gonna say we turned it off because we realized that it was on and it's probably loud for you guys but it sounds weird without it like it really I'm, does i'm so used to the noise machine being on because it's right next to my head like literally it's on my side of the bed yeah and jackson sleeps on my side of the bed like his little uh snoo like co-sleeper thing is on my side so it, it's and, very and that's loud that makes noise too yeah so there's just like constantly noise happening and i'm so used to it it's very strange being in the room when there's not noise happening. Mm -hmm. Like right now. The fan's well, still the fan, on. But it's but not loud enough. It's not loud enough, yeah. So we're using the rest of the day today to get some stuff done around the house because we were neglecting laundry and dishes and just like things that we need to do. Yeah. So I'm putting away laundry now. And then you're going to go do something fun later. Yeah. I can't go because Jackson can't go. So it's like too loud for him. Yeah. So I'm going to stay home with him. You're gonna go have some fun, mm. and then hopefully- Not as much fun as I would have if you guys were with me. No, you're gonna have fun. I mean, not as much fun as I wouldn't have if you guys were with me. And then we're gonna do some cool stuff, hopefully soon, with Jackson. Yeah. Um, we're very excited. There was uh, the last home vlog, I think, we're like, tomorrow we're doing something very fun, and we didn't we do didn't, it. We didn't, no. Uh, but that fun thing is coming up. Yeah. So, stay tuned to the channel. Surprise will be happening. <laughs> it will be. This is us, putting away laundry. Isn't it so exciting? Oh yeah, look at this like frame rate shuffle here. Oh, is it the lights? Yeah, I wonder if I can change that by like making them brighter or dimmer. Let's see what happens. Did that do it? I made them a little bit brighter. What about the other light? This one, it's a terrible color. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How's this? Ooh, mood lighting. Yeah, it's weird watching the frame rate happen on the camera. But all the way up, the frame rate's kind of good. What is it? It, you, it like makes lines go across the screen. Wait, is it like Because uh, we're recording at 60 frames a second mm -hmm. and the LEDs are flashing at a different interval than 60 frames a second. So we're in the closet together now because we wanted to ask you guys, what do you think Jackson's first ride should be? So there's like a lot of requirements here, right? Right. So number one, it has to be, he has to be able to ride it. It has to be like, okay for babies. The height, oh, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. Number two, he needs to be able to like it can't be too long because what if he like hates it and then we're like stuck on small world for 15 minutes we were talking about small world and i was like but i don't want to ruin the ride for other riders right in case he cries the whole time or i just i don't know i want to make sure that he's not going to hate it right so there was another one that we talked about what was it people oh, mover no haunted mansion maybe? haunted mansion yeah if, if we was, don't that tell that him that it's scary he won't be scared of it well no but i think that might just be too long Right, that is pretty long. What if it like breaks down? You know how it always like stops in the middle of it. Right. Okay. Then what do we do? Then what do we do? Right. And then. Uh, and he hates it when we stop moving. Right. And then what? That doesn't get hung up. That's my sleep shirt. Oh. And then what? What other requirements do we have? I think it's really funny that you. I wear the the same shirts all the time. So well, for your they're like your pajamas. These are my pajamas. Yeah, are the the medieval time shirts. So if you guys ever see me wearing medieval time shirts, you guys know that I haven't changed out of my pajamas yet. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Um, what else? What are the other requirements? Um, I feel like they can't do. I don't want to do pirates because I know that he could ride it, but I don't want to do the drop just yet because he might hate that. Well, and that's also loud. It can't yeah, be yeah. like too loud. You might also get splashed. Right. Don't want that. So I just think either People Mover Big or... Big Thunder Mountain will be good. We can do that. I mean, he'll have to hold on to his hats and glasses for right? sure. Well, best remove them. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, People Mover, maybe... Well, there was another one that I thought of, though, that I was like, oh, this would be really good. 
and now I can't remember what it was. What else? Teacups. Teacups. But not if we don't spin not it. spinning, just like But like what if he really hates that? And mm-hmm. then we just like can't stop it. It's such a short ride though. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, it was the carousel. Carousel. I think yeah. he would like carousel. I do too. Because there's places where you can sit, they have like benches, so you don't have to sit on a horse. Right. You can just sit on a bench. Right. And I think you might like because there's lights everywhere. I don't know. Leave some comments down below and let us know like what you think his first ride should be or what your child's first ride was or just give us some ideas. Rise of the Resistance? Yeah, I you still wake him up at 4 a.m. and yeah. get out there? I'd love that. Yeah, you would. Side note, I know we said we were going to do the uh, Christmas pictures today. I don't think we're going to have time to do that. So we're going to have the Christmas tree up for yet another day. May possibly even yet another week. But... Have you guys taken down your Christmas tree yet? Is there any time that you've had your Christmas tree up and you're like, oh, we need to take a picture in front of it? Leave it up. Just leave it up. Leave it up. And then you're like, it gets away from you. And then the Christmas tree's up in the middle of February. <laughs> does that, is anybody else doing that? Because that's where I'm at. So that does it for this home vlog. We are doing some more theme park stuff tomorrow. So look forward to that. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like it was a good day. It was. Thank you for letting us get caught up on like some house stuff and just like hanging out with the baby and making pork <laughs> oh yeah oh we didn't show you guys what time is it it's not time for it to be done yet oh okay well, i'm gonna we'll... insert it in here when we open it up because we're gonna do it i think soonish yeah i'm gonna open it up and we'll show you what it looks like and i'll it'll be right here so we cooked up the pork for five hours like it said to mm-hmm. not quite ready yet well and it's on high for five hours so maybe the, I think the recipe said if you cook it on low for 10 hours. Yeah, it was like 10 to 12 hours on low. So maybe we need to cook this for a little bit longer on high because that yeah. seems strange. Yeah, have a look at it. So I already took it out and tried to shred it and it just wasn't shredding yet. So there is some pieces of pork in there that can be like tasted. Like that one right there if you wanted to. But for the most part, it just needs to like cook longer. There's a bone in there too and it should fall off the bone and it hasn't quite done that yet. So we'll find some pieces that are cooked through. Like maybe we can just taste this piece. Yeah. Because this one fell off. Also, this is a lot more waterier, more liquid than I'm used to seeing in barbecue pork. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be this liquidy either. But we'll take this little piece. We'll try it. We'll let you know what the flavor's like. But we'll have to let you know in the comments when it's actually done what yeah. it tasted like. Because it's not done yet. See what we can taste here. It Does it smell good? good? Yeah. What does it taste like? We have that little piece right there. Boom. Is it? Oh no, it's, this part is, is really tender. Oh, part? Yeah. Yeah, it has good flavor. It needs to like, the barbecue needs to be more like integrated into it. So it does mm -hmm. need to, to like cook up in the barbecue sauce more. Yeah. And then I think we need to put barbecue sauce on it too. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, but it's not bad. I think it could be better, mm -hmm. but it's not bad. I think yeah. next time, if we did it, I would just put the pork in there and then just, just put barbecue sauce on it. Not the rest of the stuff? Not the rest of the stuff. Because mm. I think the rest of the stuff kind of like watered it down. So like it's a lot of liquid, mm. not enough like smooth, smooth barbecue, <laughs> smooth, smooth barbecue sauce. We'll have to try it again, but this isn't bad. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Could but be a little bit more. Oh, I got a nice flavor, nice taste of uh, some garlic in there. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, so maybe the flavors haven't really like melded together. So I'm going to cook this for like another three hours, I think. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. And then I'll let you know in the comments what it takes, like if it was better after the three hours or if we just are going to try it again. I think we're just going to try it again anyway. Why not? Yeah. But there you go. That's our review. Back to you past Tim and Jen. Hey, welcome back. That pork was amazing, wasn't it? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so all in all, fantastic day. Uh, yeah, good times. Good breakfast, good pork, good babies. I don't know. <laughs> so with that being said, we're off and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.